on in reality nowadays. And also that the guy who plays Mr. Krabs, Mr. Clancy Brown, is in this game as a cop. And I remember this because the demo is you playing the very first level of the game. We have to help get the androids, let the girl go on the balcony. So I remember this from playing the demo. Hello again, Connor. Nice to meet you. I'm Connor. The android sitting by cyber life. <laughs> Are we going to see that racist mother again who doesn't like Connor because he's an android? Wait, wait, hold on, I forget, I forget. Alright, let's look at the picture, let's look at the little picture and make sure we have everything we need processed. John Phillips, Emma Phillips, and Caroline Phillips. mother again. Dwarf Gorami fish. And as I did in the demo, we're gonna save the poor fish. Poor fish deserves to live too. I may not be vegan, but I don't like eating fish, so let the fish live. All right, Captain Allen, let's find your rotten ass again. Find Captain Allen, all right. Talk to Captain Allen first, all righty dighty. Let's go talk to the bastard again. Hello, Captain Allen, I'm back again. You were very rude Captain to me last time. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. firing and everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it. it the the still ignoring me like we did before. She falls. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of him. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I bet your wife screws the mailman. That's why he's so angry, because his wife screwing the mailman. Fucking Captain Allen. I believe I just came from in there. Okay, I forget. All the, I, I gotta go in here. I do know that. I haven't played the demo in a couple of weeks, and my memory is horrible when it comes to remembering video games from, from playing the demos to the full game. Yeah, it's music. Good music. But it helps us find information that she didn't hear the gunshots, because of course the father was shot. That's how all this started after he w was caught uh, planning to replace the android Daniel with another android because he felt Daniel had become uh, something had gone wrong. Like uh, in this in this world, androids or robots are made to look like humans and are made to help humans with their everyday things. Live in, basically live in servants. And uh, I've always said that if I had if I was in this kind of position, and I had an android servant, I would treat it with respect. It looks like it, it looks human, sounds human. I would treat it as if it were a human. But uh, for the sake of, th of this being a gameplay, I want to make this as horrible as possible. Hold on, I just came from in here. I think I believe I did. Where do I gotta go again? I forget. So quickly. Oh, wait. Gun case. Alright, we gotta look at the gun case. Yeah, 
MS-853 Black Hawk capacity. Hold on, I wasn't done reading your son of a bitch. Capacity 17 rounds, uh, 0.355, overall 8.5 inches, barrel 5 inches. Read that one. Hello, where are you? Same one we just looked at. Oh, there you are. The ammunition velocity uh, 365 uh, MS. I don't know what that means because I don't know nothing about weapons, so I'm a uh, complete nunce. I have a bo duple. Energy three six fifty nine, I believe that's J for joules. Bullet weight one hundred fifty one hundred and fifteen grams, powder factor uh, four hundred and fourteen kilograms, uh kick or something, kill or something, I don't know. And now let's reconstruct, because that's the only thing I understand is that we can reconstruct. We go back in time, forward in time. Showing that the android had come in here and grabbed the gun, I believe. Or at least somebody had grabbed the gun. A deviant took the father's gun. All right. I don't like about this game is the camera angles, uh, where it just it really just follows him from where he's going. All units for positions. Okay, perfect. Yeah, here's the father. Bullet wound at uh, left kidney. Uh, before he ate it, so he was, uh, I believe, shot around the left kidney, for at least for one. And then the uh, low, the, uh, hemorrhage in the lower lung, internal bleeding. John Phillips. He is deceased. He is six feet tall. He weighed 187 pounds and his estimated time of death was 7.29 p.m. that evening. And he had a hemorrhage in the upper lung, a uh, pneumothorax. Now let's reconstruct this motherfucker. Let's re remind myself how he, how his death looked. What we know is that Daniel the Android took his gun. He was holding something. I believe it was his tablet. And as he was doing it, he heard a noise, and then Daniel, as he turned around, Daniel shot him several times, and he landed here against the table.
And the tablet, I believe, landed close by. Where did you go to? Connor. Connor. to keep analyzing the dead man and I thought I had to find his tablet. This is, shows you extreme uh, get over there. This extremely this shows you extremely how terrible my memory is when you when I'm playing the demo of a game that I had never played before. And I only know the general story about this game. I played the demo which is which is this level and I don't even remember anything that I did in this level because it's been weeks since I played it. Oh there we go. Now we have access to the tablet that he was holding. Leave us alone! I want all of you out of here now! Give me a moment, Daniel. I'll be out there in a second. I'm almost done here. Can we get a refund on that purchase now? The man who ordered it is dead. But yes, he was going to be replaced and out of out of anger. Oh, and I believe that's all I have to do in here in regards to figuring out what was going to happen, because we now know how close he and he and the girl are. We know the the family was gonna have him replaced. We know why he did what he did. And we have to try and talk him down. Which always ends up with him dying either way. What are we waiting for? We should take down the uh, No, nah, first I gotta do this. We gotta taste the blue blood. Press blue blood model PL six hundred uh, serial number uh, three nine. Yes, he was he was wounded in during the standoff. We're up to 65% success rate. I think we can do this now. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! Stand down, man. I haven't even said a word to him yet. I'm your negotiator, for fuck's sake. Hi, Daniel! Now, my name is Connor! How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Hey, you guys are ruining this for us. Get the chopper out of here. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help you. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for all this to stop. I just want all this to stop. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. Yeah, that's, that's a general happened, idea right? of what caused all this. I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. Yeah, she lied to me! She had no say in this. Her parents I had no had to say me. in whether or not you were replaced. Emma I had no say in, say in the matter. It didn't, it didn't, like didn't have nothing what she could have said or done would have done anything to the situation. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. I 
can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't we want do. to die. We're doing very good. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen Perfect. to you. You have my word. Sweetness. The sweetness of life. 100% okay. possibility of success. <laughs> I trust you. And you shouldn't have because they're going to kill you. They're going to shoot you down now because you've let your hostage go. You have no leverage. There, there you go. You gave away your leverage. They shoot you down now. I had to lie to you to protect the girl. That's, that's, that's my job as a hostage negotiator. That was my job. To make you feel safe enough to let her go. You lied to me, Connor. And here comes the heartbreak. You lied to me. Yeah, it's because Mikey hates lying to people. I really do. But it was it was necessary to protect the girl. Mission successful, even though we had to be a liar to do it. Now, I know that you can choose a path at some point in this game, whether the, uh, Connor stays as he is or if he, just, or if he goes deviant. Like, he begins to work on his own, act on his own, take his own, listen to his own thoughts. Um, and as I said earlier, I, I would treat if I had a, an android robot in this particular kind of universe as a human being. But for my, I might do another gameplay of this when I'm finished with this one. I'd like to go through both options, but the first option I want to do is keep Connor as a simple android. I'll make him go deviant in the in in follow-up gameplay. You know, because I, I like to do that. I have two roads I can take. Two different sets of options that follow each road. And I like to do that. November 5th, 2038. Cyberlife Incorporated. Model AX400, serial number 5791226694. Move, reboot, memory set. Memory sets, all systems okay. Hello. This is the top of the range household assistant. It costs 10,000. Hello. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And handles the kids' bank accounts. Elementary school. Good afternoon. Can I help? Honey, it looks so nice. Hello, fellas. $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. That's a pretty good deal considering this thing's gonna cost we'll you $8,000. <laughs> An excellent choice. <laughs> if you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. I mean, I would never want to pay $8,000 for this. As helpful as it could be, and even if that's even a good deal, I still just wouldn't see the point in paying $8,000. $8,000. There it is. It was a bit difficult getting it back in working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, yeah, I think this guy. I, I think you beat me up. You look like an asshole. You sound like an asshole when a, a car hit, hit, hit this robot. Really, hey, I don't believe that story. My daughter did. AX four hundred, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara.
Brian Deckard, I know him. He's he's the he does the mo the motion capture and the voice for Connor. Clancy Brown, Mr. Krabs, I can't wait to see him. That's Hendrickson. Oh. This game is made very beautifully. I like it. Now that we're getting past the demo, and I can see the world for what it is in this game, because I have seen only small bits and pieces of gameplay on this, of this game on YouTube, because I wanted to wait till I finally got a chance myself to play it. And uh, I like this. Is, I like games that look fairly realistic. I'm a sucker for graphics, effects, and things like that. See, this is beautiful. That's how much of a nerd I am. Who's this guy's name? Like oh, we're playing as him then, huh? Gonna walk around in circles oh, today. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Hello, sir. Madam. can't run, so we're just gonna walk. We're just gonna walk out of the park. Hey, water. Water. Hello, everyone. You all look so lovely and detailed. I love it. Hey, if it's four meters, I believe, to get to the paint shop. I hope it's marked so I know which building it is. In, this, in case I don't decide to read a sign. Look at the propaganda on this one. Ban Android, we want jobs. If you would stop being so lazy, they wouldn't have come to a point where you had to make Android. If you wanted jobs, you shouldn't have been so lazy. Stop with the goddamn propaganda, you sons of bitches. We prefer to live with machines than with our own kind. Technology is our god now. It was supposed to serve man, but it is becoming our new master. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit! You sound like a prosperity preacher. People who preach the, the gospel just to make a quick buck. Androids are evil! Can I punch him in the face? Man seeks to imitate God by creating life. But what kind of life is this? A life of plastic and metal? A life with no soul? A pale copy of our creator. I piss him off. He pisses, that guy pisses me off. Excuse me, people. Yeah, let's just go to the pain shop and leave the crazy man to his crazy ways. Uh, Bellini paints, we found it. Hello, I need to be in here. Hello. Open the door. Open the door. Help. Open the door. Thank you very much. Hello? I 
Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be $63.99. Please confirm payment. For paint? Sixty that paint over confirmed. sixty over sixty dollars for paint. Transaction complete. There had better be real gold in that fucking paint. For me have to had to for me to have paid that much for paint. I don't pay that much for paint when I go to the when I go downtown to, to the art to the art store. For, but yes, uh, outside of acting and doing YouTube and paint and poetry, I do paint from time to time. I mean, I'm not good at it, but I do paint. I do paint little pictures. Space is available. And occasionally do some sketches. I mean, I have many hobbies. I don't just stay to just one hobby. Life would be too boring to do that. Crazy man still on the other side of this uh, walkway spouting it, spewing his hatred of rhetoric. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. <clears throat> now, yeah, this is, uh... The reality, uh... Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up! This is racism. This is the world we live in, and we really should not be living in a world that is this hatred. This hatred. People who act like this... Put them in a cage, send them to their own private island, send them to their own private island and make them fight for survival. <laughs> it's all... It's all I can say is make them fight for their own survival on an island of wild animals. Fuck your bitch ass up. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Thank, thank you. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Can I headbutt you in the face? Damn it, I'm gonna have to find you. I do worse now, I'm sure. Next. You, know, you, you lay one hand on that android. Put a, I'm gonna okay. make that nose look nice and red. Let's go. I cannot stand people that are racist, even if it is against androids. It's fucking disgusting. But then you have me here who says in my first playthrough I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make Connor on the uh, Connor fight against the androids, and then he only uh, he only becomes defeat in the second gameplay. I have a, I have this whole planned out since I know enough about the game that I can plan things out. Now where's the bus stop? Where I gotta go for the bus stop? I wish I could run, you know? That would make this game a lot nicer if I could... Do you want, do you want to walk? Thank you. Then you shouldn't have been lazy. You shouldn't have been lazy. And you'd have a fucking job. Me off, isn't it? With all the racism and all the people who say, Well, we want jobs, you're taking our jobs, and you, well, you shouldn't have been fucking lazy. That's all I can say. You should have been fucking lazy. Marcus took the bus also. His name is Marcus. Good to know. I, mean, I wish they would give us like their names right when we meet them instead of making us wait to, to the end screen of that particular part to tell us the character's name. Continuing November 5th, 2038. 4.53 p.m. It's almost 5 o'clock. Although this is in Detroit, Michigan, so I believe this would be five, almost 5 o'clock central time. Although it looks like some of the neighborhoods in my where I live in, here in my hometown. 
And I don't even live around Detroit. Yeah, you're the asshole from the uh, Android shop. The, the the one who I think actually abused your Android. Because I don't believe you were hit by a car story. I said it was hit by a car, but it was your truck, and did, you did the truck driving. Well, his name is Todd. He is an Coming? asshole. I never met one person who was an asshole that wasn't named Todd. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing. Well, you the shouldn't meals, have broke it, then you, you wouldn't have had that problem, now, would you? God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Urgent task, optional task, uh, urgent task is take up the trash, optional, collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, and check the backyard. Alright, let's do this. Uh, where's the trash at? Ah, wash the dishes first then. TV on. The, the one chore that I actually enjoy doing is washing the dishes, play some music. Turn on the air conditioner, it's very nice. Oh, okay, uh, you told me to do that. Uh, hello? Uh, hold, uh, hold, hold your horses. Yeah, let's just take this now. Uh, so we're just gonna instead of take, making multiple trips over there, yeah, just gonna bring it, uh, bring the trash can to the trash. All right. Maybe depends on what you need. Yeah, who who yeah, wouldn't yeah. have thought that he was a drinker? <laughs> I could have told you that. Yeah, yeah. I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know. I love just using the, the joysticks in this game. Not a lot of fully button pushing unless you have uh, choices you want to make. Huh. Interesting. used to this and I'm just use the joystick for most of the game. Yeah, it's a bus. Don't walk into the porch, darling. There you go. No, I'm not up the stairs. There you go. Todd, problems. Oh, that's a hockey game. What are you looking at? She's watching the Get hockey game. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Is she not allowed to I'll watch the hockey to game? Is she not allowed to take a five-minute break to watch the fucking hockey game, man? The fuck? You'd be surprised uh, of how nice and understanding I am towards women. Do I make jokes about women on Twitter? Yes, but that's the thing, they're jokes. I don't actually mean those things. But for some reason, people automatically, oh, you're fact. Oh. No, the fuck I'm not. Down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. I think he needs to leave her alone, I do know that. 
card, I fucking hate. Yeah, not yeah, not surprised. You fucking asshole. Not fucking surprised. And what was I supposed to be doing? I'm so angry at Todd, I forgot what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. It's a nice uh, old fashioned picture of a taxi cab. Well, maybe you wouldn't. Maybe you wouldn't have a headache if you actually try to be a father. Out of the way, for dog. fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. I hate Todd. You know that? I really hate Todd. What the fuck was I supposed to be doing? Uh, maybe let's clean the bathroom. Well, where's the bathroom at? And this is the laundry room. Uh, okay, so you don't have a downstairs bathroom. I'm assuming it's upstairs. Cartoons. I like cartoons. Glasses well, on. Another two hundred twenty-five thousand jobs were lost from the U.S. economy in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment figure up to thirty-seven point three. Now the hockey game. Warren? Elizabeth Warren? Yeah, I could see it. Is that, that all we can watch? We can't watch anymore? Yeah, let's tidy up his room. Make, make the poor bastard at least somewhat pleased. We not make his fucking messy ass bed. Watch it, sir. You're just, all you're doing is increasing my hatred for your character. It's all you're doing. I found the bathroom. So he has a full bathroom and a half bath, where there's just a toilet and then there's the full bathroom in here. I'm not used to having to use the touchpad for this. Interesting. Never had a. I never had to <laughs> caress my touchpad like that. <laughs> clean bathroom, clean restroom. All right, now, what are my optional tasks again? Tidy Todd's room, which is urgent. I believe I've done that, didn't I? Tidy Alice's room. You can tell this is Alice's room. She makes little forts like I used to do when I was a kid. Made 
the bed now, I gotta ventilate the room. You have unlocked the dialogue or action often beneficial. Alright, we're making progress. Alright. I think that's all I had to do when I think no, I think we're done in here, that's all we had to do. And then go back to Todd's room, but I guess we're not done yet. All we did was pick up his guitar. Oh good, I found the right room. Who just leaves bags? Uh, of, and I'm not surprised. But who just leaves bags of chips laying out on their on their nightstand or whatever? Okay, so we can make his, his messy ass bed. All right. Another thing I like doing is making my bed. I like seeing my bed nice and, and tidy. Makes it look more refreshing. At least it looks better. You can reread discovered articles in the extra section. All right. More touchpad. That's all we need from that. Okay, are we done with all those things? Hold on. Clean mess bin late room. Okay, so we're not done in here yet then. It just keeps adding more and more stuff. Clean mess. Oh, where's the mess at? Uh, this part. Problem. All right, his room is done. Hold on, there's one more. Oh, wait, to, uh, talk to Alice. Uh, where's her room again? I forget already. Hello, Alice. Nope, that's the bathroom. Alice. Oh, this is it. Problems. Wait, wait, go back. Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland. <laughs> Jinx. Of course. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? What about your mother? Will she be home soon? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. What's that? What did you put in my hand? What's that? What is it? Oh, it's a key. We have a key! Well, I knew what the key did. 
Ask Todd for new instructions. Ah, oh, God damn it! I gotta go talk to that man. Why? Why do you torture me? Why do I gotta go talk to Todd? Why can't I go strangle Todd? You're a big yeah, asshole. A life. Huh? She's not. She wouldn't be wrong, you motherfucker. Yeah. Job. Take care of his family. Well, if you got off the crack, you think got I off the drinking, work? you might be able to get a fucking job. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. I know what you think of me. Child services, anyone? You Hello. Say it. You hate me. This is physical and emotional abuse, sir. Please put the child down, please. God. What am I doing? Destroying yourself and your and your and your daughter by drinking I'm sorry. drugs. I'm sorry. I'm well, sometimes sorry. I'm sorry. It, it just isn't enough. You, you know can only say I'm sorry you. enough times to someone before you know they, before they no longer believe it. Trust me, I've been through that. I'm sorry only works so many times before we don't believe it. Oh, thank God, I'm fucking done with Todd right now. But knowing my luck, I'll see him again. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm going to end this here before I completely go on a rant about Todd. So I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Cheers.